Steve Torrance is a spoiled rich kid. Your son was killed in an accident. Just the way I feel. I have to win at anything. I want my blood and my personality in that race car. I think I've been searching for approval from my father like my whole life. When I started racing, it wasn't because I loved it. It was, don't make my dad mad. Winning made him happy, which made us happy. I'm Leah Pritchett, and this is my journey. One of my very first memories is being on the Bonneville Salt Flats, watching my dad race with my older sister and my mom. That's everything that we looked forward to for the whole year. Redlands is cool. <laughs> we called ourselves the diamond in the rough. As a little girl growing up, my older sister, Lindsay, four years older than me, she was racing and I liked it. Didn't love it. I liked being with my dad working on the car. I wanted to do everything. My dad told me this life lesson, Leah, you can't be good at everything. You can only be good at one thing and you're gonna have to choose. My relationship with my mom was very cool. She really made me feel like I could do it. That was, that was the yin yang of what it is. My dad challenged me to be that person and my mom always knew that I could be that person. When I loved racing is when I loved it for myself. And then that's when, that's really when my journey began. I raced the Good Guys Nostalgia Circuit, and that's when I met Steve Kluger. 32 car fields, three day events at Bakersfield, 760 index, 180 mile an hour, bracket racing. Nobody else believed that I could do it. People questioned him, asked him, as he would say, we dropped him like a dirty diaper. How did the Ryden Pro Mod pop up? So a lot of things happened at that time in my life, and I thought, what's most important is I need to finish college. So I put out a Facebook post. I went on and I just, I thanked everybody. Everybody that had helped me win that championship, and this was gonna be the first year that I wasn't going to race. In the comment section was Roger Burgess, who asked if I would drive a pro mod. Good, does it, does it sketch? But when Roger asked me that, I go, this must be it. This is the epitome of one door closing and the other one opening, and you are a fool if you don't even try and see it through. This is going to be the most challenging. Whoa, and then a late or no parachute into the sandbox. Am I ready for it? Look at these cars and it's gonna be Leah Pruitt. Well, I'm gonna tell myself yes. It was awesome. Transitioning from Pro Mod into Top Fuel. How did that happen? I had gotten a message from the Dope family that they were looking to potentially have a change of a driver and if I'd be interested in switching over my funny car license, I got with Schumacher to Top Fuel. I was on top of the world. In 2013, what would have your competitors have said about you then? Oh, that's cute. She's in Top Fuel. 2015, a little bit different story as we were going rounds. I don't think they took us lightly by the end. You have this theme of, of proving people wrong. Why? If people have an opinion about me or my team or our organization that I don't agree with, then it brings me happiness to prove them wrong. I guess I've always been the earliest I can remember proving people wrong. Who? Really probably just my dad, because he said I wasn't as good as the boys. I'd never make it, and that pushed me. It would be so cool. If he could be on the line when I win. Right now he doesn't go to the races, but um, even cooler than that, if he could be on the line when we won a championship. Where do you find peace? When I'm surfing at the lake. It used to be just strictly peaceful, but then I adapted it to trying to become better at it. Just focus on being one with my body, with a board. What do you think is the biggest misconception about Leah Pritchett? That I'm mad all the time. <laughs> like one of my favorite moments about racing, off the track, is going rounds. That sense of achievement in the moment is what I love, but people misconstrue intensity. We're sitting in a room surrounded by your sponsors. Your face is on a pizza box in the back here. Do you ever feel fear that it could all be gone? Sure, I absolutely do. At the same time, if you would have asked me 10 years ago that all of this would be in 
our garage, I would have said no way. Are you proud of yourself? I'm proud of what a lot of people have done behind me to help me get here.